It's Friday and you're watching The Biggest Beauty Project. Before I start with this week's theme, I want to just um, pimp out my YouTube shirt. I was at a YouTube um, partners meetup yesterday, which is why the video may be a little bit late today, uh, but I got a free t-shirt and I was so excited to wear it to film, so yay. So I was a little stumped by this week's theme because I don't believe in the paranormal. I've never had a paranormal experience. Um, some of my friends have taken me ghost hunting uh, to this place called Sweet Hollow Road, which is on Long Island uh, where I'm from. And that was pretty interesting. If, if you like park under the overpass and turn off your lights and honk a couple times, you're supposed to like see a spirit. Um, the scariest thing that happened to us was that we almost got into an accident because we were in a black car, turned all the lights off underneath the dark bridge. So not the smartest thing I've ever done, um, but that, that was kind of my only um, foray into the paranormal. But I don't want to make a video where I'm just like, I don't believe in anything, turn off the camera. Uh, so I thought what I would do is recommend some paranormal literature because when in doubt, I turn to books. That's who I am. Uh, I, even though I don't, you know, have much experience with paranormal in life, I love to read about it. Uh, what I love most is that I define paranormal books as um, the world that we know and love only with like kind of secrets lurking under the surface. Like the world that we walk through, only there are stuff that we don't know kind of all around us, uh, which I think is wonderful. I love the idea that there's always something more happening than we can see, that what meets the eye isn't what's going on totally. So paranormal literature is one of my favorite genres. First, Peeps by Scott Westerfeld. I love Scott Westerfeld. I love that he can write so many genres. He can write just realistic fiction, he can write fantasy, and he can write paranormal. But I sort of like Peeps the most because I think it combines both of his strengths. The strengths of fantasy and the strengths of just human relationships in realistic fiction. So I really recommend it. And it's set in New York City, which is where I'm from. Two is The Blue Girl by Charles DeLint. It's kind of like sexy, kind of um, sub subversive, um, and very well written YA book. And third, Things Not Seen by Andrew Clements. He is um, an amazing children's author. He wrote Frindle and uh, dozens of other children's books, you know, a dozen, maybe a dozen children's books. Um, and he's award-winning and amazing, but he also writes young adult and um, adult fiction. Things Not Seen is about a boy who suddenly turned invisible. Uh, and it's a great premise and it's a great book and it deals with stuff like, I have to walk through public naked if I'm invisible. You can't just wear clothes because then the clothes would be seen. So like all the sort of little things that uh, maybe are taken for granted on TV shows or in other um, media, he deals with, which I love. Then the So You Want to Be a Wizard series by Diane Duane. Uh, maybe the first series I ever fell in love with. Before I read Harry Potter, I read this series. Uh, it's fantastic. It's imaginative. It's good for YA or sort of independent or young readers, um, sort of like that 10 to 12 group. Uh, really just wonderful. And it made me think like if I found a book in this library called So You Want to Be a Wizard, I would pick it up and I would read it. And uh, it really gave me that sort of escapism that I craved as a kid. Laurie Stollars' series Blue is for Nightmares. I think you girls will really like this one. Um, it's a four book series about a girl at boarding school um, who has sort of uh, powers that she's just unlocking and has nightmares and that sort of thing. So it's sort of the um, underbelly to having powers because you imagine like oh I would love to be psychic or oh I'd love to you know have a, a shaman as an aunt or uncle um, but it sort of has consequences and the series deals with it. It reminds me a lot of Looking for Alaska. I think I read the two books at the same time and the tone I think is sort of reminiscent of each other. And girls I really enjoyed your stories. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing your videos for next week so see ya.